What's up video Fort nation? This is video for Ruan with another awesome video for tutorial. Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at how we can actually start to match our elements together. So try and match the render to the actual footage. What we're going to do is we're going to start renaming these layers. So the bottom one, the project final footage, just press enter on that. And we're going to call it plate. Uh, or you can call it footage doesn't really matter and in the top one i'm going to call helicopter okay so on your helicopter layer so we're going to right click on that and we're going to go to effect blur and sharpen and we're going to select fast blur so if we zoom in here a little bit let's just go up to quite big like 400 percent you can see that the helicopter looks a little bit sharp in comparison to the ground and to everything around it so what i'm going to do i'm going to add a little bit of a blur to the helicopter just to try and match my footage so this fast blur i'm going to give it a blurriness of one and you can see that it actually blurred the helicopter quite a bit so let's just zoom out here back to fit up to 100 percent maybe let's do 100 percent it's fitting a bit better to the scene so you can play around with the blurriness sometimes you need to make it uh, 0.5 or sometimes even like two but obviously two is a little bit much for for the footage so i'm going to leave it on one for now but just try and play with that and try and match the, the sharpness of your footage and your render elements as good as possible. Okay, next up, we're going to add some grain to our render. So once again, if we just zoom in here a little bit and we look at some of the ground area here and I play through this, you'll see uh, you've got all these noise going on here. I just look at the nice shadow in the background. I didn't even notice that it's looking pretty cool. So that's the shadow from the, the rotors that's actually on the floor. Um, but anyway, if you look at this area here and you play through this, you can see there's some grain here, a lot of grain here in the dark areas, but even here in the lighter areas, you can see some, some noise. And what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and uh, simulate that noise onto the helicopter. Cause if I play this back in this area, you'll see there will be no noise or very little noise on the helicopter itself. That's actually the shadow that's that's flickering there. So that's pretty cool. So you're going to right click on your helicopter layer, go to effects, and then we're going to go to noise and grain, and then we're going to select match grain. So match grain is quite a cool effect that you can actually tell After Effects to match the grain from one layer to another. So the first parameter that says viewing mode, I'm going to change that to final output. And then where it says noise source layer, we're going to select plate because we want to actually sample the noise from that plate and then apply it to the helicopter. Okay, so as you can see, immediately we can see some noise on the helicopter. And if I play through this, uh, you can see there's quite a bit of noise and it looks like it's actually more noise than the footage. So obviously we need to try and match that. Okay, and the easiest way to match it is to uh, expand this tweaking parameter here. And then you've got the intensity and the size and the softness and all of these parameters for your noise. So I'm going to change the size to around 0.5. And this again, just try and match it as closely as possible. And then the intensity, that's actually the amount of noise. So if I put this up to five, you'll see that it will be crazy noisy. So I'm going to bring this down to 0.5 as well. So slight noise there on the helicopter. So I'm just going to play back a little section. Okay, so as you can see, we've got some nice noise here on the helicopter. It's looking pretty good, probably matching it quite closely. Let's just zoom out here and see how that looks like. So obviously you can't see the noise that clearly uh, on this small screen, but yeah, just try and match it as close as possible. And once you've got that down, we can get into some color grading. And also be sure to check out some of our other awesome tutorials on the Video Fort YouTube channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.